everyone, Maya here from My Little Learners. And today, if you are looking for a fun gift idea that includes a little bit of books, a little bit of toys, then I have the perfect ideas for you. Today, I am sharing some book and toy pairings that are super cute. Some of my favorite children's books paired with some excellent toys that I can't wait to share with all of you. And you can see if any of these book and toy pairings would be great for you in your own littles. Now, as always, I always love sharing the bookish toy fun. So this time, please please go ahead and subscribe to my Little Learners YouTube channel. Comment your top three book and toy pairings. And this time I'm going to be choosing one subscriber from the comments below to send a book and toy pairing to one of the ones that are featured in this video. Okay. So go ahead, keep track of your top three favorites, write them down below, and I'm excited to see what catches your eye. Otherwise, my friends, let's get started and see what book toy pairings we have today. All right, so we are going to be starting with the picture book first. And this one is so darling, my friends. It's called Goodnight Little Bookstore. It's almost similar to like Goodnight Moon, except bookstore, right? And I love the diverse representation in it. And super cute, right? So you see like sparse text, just like Goodnight Moon. Goodnight picture books, face out in rows. Goodnight door chime, ding, ding. All these different characters you'll see. Saying goodnight to the bookstore and all the books. A beautiful little goodnight story for kids. So this is a sweet little book that you can just gift on its own. But I like to pair it with this adorable, cute little library. So it's kind of like a cute little skinny book. And a little library. This is from Petite Collage, um, which is part of an imprint of Chronicle Kids Books. And if you see, you can make your own like little tiny library. So I'm going to open it up. And inside are all these like little tiny books. And I'll take one out and show you. And it's just like blank on the inside. So the littles can like write their own little stories inside the books. Isn't that adorable? Look at little room. And then it here is really cute because it has this little pouch and um, if I open up the little pouch inside are all these like little tokens you can see and the tokens are like little story ideas that you can use so you can like reach into the bag grab out some tokens you know and they have like see like a thunder cloud a ladder and you can like lay them out and see what you get and then from these little tokens if I got a robot you see I'll try to show you like a little robot. So if I got like a robot and then a present, you have to try to make a story from your little story tokens. So that is a fun little way to do it. And that goes right inside your little story library. And you can use it to make storytelling ideas, book ideas, super cute little library thing for your little book lover. So this would be a great first pairing. So good night little bookstore and little library storytelling box is our set number one. Let's check out the next one. All right. So the next one is to Giraffe Problems by Joy John, published by Random House Kids. And this is a super funny one that goes into like all the problems you might have if you're a giraffe, like your long neck, it gets sore, that um, you can't hide very well. So a fun book about giraffe and um, giraffe's problems. Now, this would be a really cute one to pair with over here. This really cute giraffe wooden pull toy. So this is also from Petite Collage from Chronicle Kids. And I'm going to go ahead and take it out to show you. I'm really excited to share this one with Baby because um, he'll eventually be able to pull soon. And you can see it's like a cute little giraffe toy. It has this little string where you can pull it along because it has these wheels right here on the bottom that spin. And as you're pulling, like its neck goes back and forth. Woo! So super cute to read the story and then play with your giraffe toy. So this is a giraffe wooden pull toy paired with giraffe problems. Super cute. Okay, our next book is Too Early, and this is a beautiful one, my friends. Ellie McKay has some of my favorite illustrations. This is from Abrams Young Readers, and it's about a little girl who wakes up too early, but her daddy wakes up with her, and they go explore the very early, early morning. And look how beautiful they see all these amazing sights and realize, you know what? There's some pretty magical things you can see if you wake up too early. And then eventually the rest of the family wakes up, and they go back home. Um, a beautiful book about maybe have some little to wake up a bit too early too my baby is having some trouble waking up at a nice time also well this one be fun to pair with this day and night four in a row game so this is like connect four my friends and you see it has like these tokens and you try to connect like either four moons or four suns in a row so a cute little like too early nighttime daytime pairing with this day and night so let me see if i can open up and give you a little sneak peek so super cute see the board is like this and then this like slides out, you can see. And then inside it has the, all the little tokens, the little moon, 
moon token and the little sun token over here too. So these would just slide right in. You know, you play it like this and then you would put like the bottom in and then they slide right in and you try to get four in a row like connect four. But a really cute day and night thing for kids. So if you're interested in this pairing day and night with too early, go ahead and let us know in the comments. Otherwise, let's check out the next one. All right, this is one of my favorite ones. So this is a musical book from Cordo Kids. They make the most incredible music book series. What I really love is that these ones actually play music. So this one's called Listen to the Music, A World of Magical Melodies. And if you see, it says press the note on each page to listen. So if I'm flipping through a very royal sound, I see here a button and if I press it, it plays the song. I love musical books, my friends, and I love sharing them with Baby, who like loves hearing sounds too. So each page has a different button to find and press. And what's really cool is in the back, it tells you like all the buttons that you press. It tells you a little bit more about the song and the composer that was playing there. So all these different musical ones. Now this would be wonderful to pair with a gorgeous music box my friends take a look at this look how delicate it is so this is from my friend over at wrap box on instagram she shared one of these with me and just look at the beautiful craftsmanship i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the little switch here and then up oh, it starts to play it has like a little windy button on the bottom you can see the horses go up and down so so delicate and the cool thing is there are so many different themes there's even like a baseball theme on there there's like little boat theme there's a ton of like christmas ones going on right now because it's christmas time and they are just cute little music boxes some of them are like little gift boxes that you can open so many different themes definitely check it out i will link it down below if you're interested in other kinds of music boxes but this would be a beautiful pairing a musical book with a music box. Oh my gosh. I had a music box when I was younger and every night I'd make my mom like spin a different one and listen to the song as like a little bedtime song. Super cute. All right, this next one is a fun one, kind of for our foodie lovers. And what's fun is that this book is also kind of like a game in itself because it's a search and find book, I spy book, taco truck edition. This is from Cottage Store Press. They normally do some board books, but they have some really fun books like this too. So you go in here and look at all this foodie fun. And here it says, um, it has like different things for you to find. There's a little much crunch. Can you spy someone who burned their lunch? So little, little snippets that you get to read and then in the picture you get to try to find the different things going on and all these like foodie things oh look there's even like a little maze different activities in this taco food truck book my friend so if you have a little foodie this is definitely a fun one and this fun book is paired with this hilarious game my friend so it's called monster chef and your point of the game is to make the grossest burger ever the grossest one so i don't know about you but i know some littles who love all things gross so they would find this hilarious so i'm gonna open up the card so you can see so will you be the next monster chef this is an original card game it's all about making revolting burgers and look at all these like different disgusting things so they have like soggy sourdough they have um boiled blobber fish they have giant beetle dung all these like really disgusting cards and then these other monster cards where i think it tells you like kind of how to make the burger or different ingredients ideas so this is super fun card game about making disgusting burgers with your littles who are also into kind of like the gross factor right now so definitely check that out it'd be super fun to pair with this foodie book so little search and find foodie fun and then making your own disgusting hamburger all right, so this next one is special to me because it's actually Vietnamese themed and one of my goals is to help make baby as bilingual as possible. I'm a very beginning stage Vietnamese learner myself, um, but there are these adorable board books that are bilingual in Vietnamese and English from Gemma's library. And I connected with her on Instagram too. So super cute. This one is about colors and this one is about the Vietnamese alphabet. You can see it has like the different alphabet, different words, um, bang mê for Vietnamese cat and here has like different colors so baby and I have been enjoying these ones and I go over colors and different like basic words with him but this is super cute paired with a new product that she just released over at Gemma's library but it's actually a Vietnamese alphabet puzzle now you might have noticed that Vietnamese uses like some of the same letters as like the Roman alphabet that we use except they don't have some letters like there's no J in um, the Vietnamese alphabet and there's no like Z and they have some extra ones because Vietnamese 
Vietnamese is a tonal language. So you'll notice up here there's three A's, but they all make like different sounds and they have the different accent marks on the top. So this is super cool that it has the Vietnamese alphabet with all the different letters and all the different accent marks. And if you can see, it has like different words and pictures that go along with each one. So a fun way to teach your child some Vietnamese, even if you're not Vietnamese, you know, it's always fun to share different languages with littles. So this is a super cool wooden puzzle. I love it. And I cannot wait till baby is old enough to start playing. I even like show him just some of the letters now so you can like check it out and see. So that is a really fun book pairing too. Some bilingual board books and an alphabet puzzle. Definitely check these out from Gemma's library. And my friends, I'm going to link all of these things down below with links to purchase and also links to find, to find these people on social media because they are sharing some excellent things and resources for your littles. All right, we have two left to go, so let's check them out. Okay, these next two are island themed and this is a beautiful book called The Good Song about one of my favorite songs. So if you heard the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow uh, mixed with What a Wonderful World, it's a beautiful ukulele song and it was created on the Hawaiian island and this goes into the story about how the song, what, what inspired the song. So beautiful story about this young boy and his grandpa and him creating this song that was inspired by his grandpa and it takes place on the island gorgeous story and i paired this with this gorgeous wooden island dreams mobile or mobile and what i love about this so baby has been really interested you know these things that dangle down and this is such a cute one island thing so this is the box and i'm grabbing over here i opened it already so that you can go ahead and take a look and see oh going to untwist these ones real quick so here we go. We have it. Isn't that beautiful? So there's like a rainbow on top. And then if you can see down here below, there's like a fish. There's a flower, a guitar, a ukulele, surfboard. This is a boat. And then there's like this plant right here. So I am really excited to hang this up above baby's crib. It's just so beautiful. And I love, we actually went to Maui on our honeymoon, my husband and I. So that's kind of special to us. And I just love the water and swimming. So this is a really fun one to hang up this beautiful island mobile i you know what it's a little embarrassing but i don't really know how to say that word i always tell my husband is it mobile or mobile i'm pretty sure it's mobile but this would be super cute to pair with a good song and look it even has like the same colors on the cover right in that rainbow arches so this is a beautiful one if you have a little one who loves island themed and just wants a cute little decoration along with a fun book pairing all right we are going to move on to our last one then let's see so friends, I hope you've been taking notes of your top three book and toy pairings. And this is a fun little board book about it's cow cow time, a cakey cow cow book. And this goes into um, some different special foods of Hawaii. And that last mobile actually was from the same company as this book in the next toy you're about to see, um, cakey cow cow, which means kids food. And they make some adorable like island themed um, toys and books. And I'll link their social media and their store down below in the description if you want to learn more but look at this gorgeous cute little board book all this like foodie fun from the island and this would be super cute to pair with oh, this shaved ice kit my friend so so cool perfect for pretend play but this actually has like a little shaved ice machine inside for your littles to play with so let's go ahead and check it out i'm gonna open it up so you can see some of the pieces Okay, so, so cute. So, so here's the machine. They're all made of like these wooden pieces. And this is like a little snow cone cap and you can pretend doing the snow cone. And then this is, you know, like the snow cone flavoring you can have. And it's cute because it's like a little, um, Velcro. So they attach and there's like different colors and flavors so you can mix and match. And this is super sweet because as I said, we went to Maui for our honeymoon and my husband adores shaved ice. So I thought this would be super cute to like share with baby because he and baby will love this. It comes with like different wooden, um, syrup flavors lychee and lily koi um like the passion fruit and so these two mats so you can like pretend pouring on to make the different flavors there's little like spoons that you can use to scoop it up and eat it adorable and there's even like a little menu right here that tells you you know like what different flavors they have and what different toppings like the beans and the snow cap and the ice cream and the mochi so so cute for pretend play my friends this is such a cute one for pretend play i love it and all the different you know syrup flavors so pairing this one with of course some other foodie fun from the islands with this board book is a really cute choice too for some pretend play in bookish fun. 
All right, my friends. So that was our book and toy pairing roundup that I was so excited to share with all of you. I know the holiday season is coming up. So if these help you come up with some great book and toy pairing ideas, that is excellent. If you'd like to see more kind of pairings like this with books and toys or other resources, please let me know down in the bottom what kind of themes you're looking for, what kind of content you want to see on here on My Little Learners. Otherwise, my friends, I hope you found your top three that you really liked. Go ahead and comment them down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my little learners and I'll be choosing one of you from the comments to send a book and toy pairing to celebrate the holiday gift giving season. But my friends that brings us to the end of today's book and toy pair sharing. Again I've linked down below all the different toys and social media accounts to follow and books that you can check out so if you want to get on that right away then you can go ahead and check that out down in the description. Otherwise my friends I hope you enjoyed today's little books and toys session. Until next time happy reading and happy learning.